Okay, here we're going to model borrowing fractions. So when we're subtracting, sometimes we need to borrow. So here is a good model of how we would borrow when we're subtracting fractions. Okay, so in the first problem, it says Lewis and Ryan had a party. They have three and three eighths of a pizza left. So that's what I drew down here. I shaded three and three eighths. That's what they have left. Ryan's mom calls and tells them to bring five eighths of a pizza to the neighbors for lunch. How much pizza is left for Lewis and Ryan? So here they had three and three eighths, but since Ryan's mom calls and tells them to give five eighths of a pizza to the neighbors, that means that they're going to have to give all of this three eighths away. So that one's gone, that one's gone, and that one's gone. And guess what they're going to have to do? Take from another hole, right? They didn't have enough to take away five eighths, so then they're going to have to take two eighths from this one. So this one would be gone, and this one would be gone. So then what are Lewis and Ryan left with? Well, they're still left with two holes, but now here they're missing two pieces here. So now they only have one, two, three, four, five, six out of eight. So what's left is two and six eighths of a pizza for Lewis and Ryan. And we can simplify that, divide it by two over two, and we get two and three fourths. Okay, let's look at the next problem. It says, take away three fourths of a pizza from five and one fourth pizzas. Based, of, based off of our denominator, our pizza is divided into fourths, right? So here I have some pizzas. I'm going to divide each one into fourths. And I'm going to go ahead and shade five and one fourth. Five and one fourth means you have all of this. All of this, all of this, okay, this whole pizza. So here's five holes that I've shaded. You have all of these, and then only one fourth of this one, right? So there's five and one fourth. It says take away three fourths. Well, I look at this pizza. I can take away a fourth from this one, but that's not enough. I'm going to have to borrow from one of these to take three-fourths away. So here's one-fourth I take away, and then I still need more, right? So I need to take away from this one and this one. So now I've given away three-fourths. One-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. So what's left? After you take away three-fourths from five and one-fourth, you are left with one, two, three, four whole pizzas and two-fourths of a pizza. So here you're left with four and two-fourths after you take away three-fourths from five and one-fourth. Simplify that, divide it by 2 over 2, and we get 4 and 1 half. Okay. All right, here we're taking away 3 eighths from 3 and 1 fourth of a pizza. So our pizzas are divided into fourths. And I have 3 and one-fourth. Right? Now I want to take away three-eighths. So first I need to divide my pizza into eighths before I can take away three-eighths. How do I divide fourths into eighths? I just have to divide each piece into two more pieces. There's eight. I'm going to divide this into eighths, this into eighths, and this into eighths. Okay. Now they're divided into eighths. Now can I take away three eighths? Yes. Here's one eighth, two eighths, and then we have to borrow from here, right? I'm going to take one of these eighths away. Three eighths. So now that I've taken three eighths away, what am I left with? Well, I'm left with one, two whole pizzas still, but only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths of this pizza. So I have two and seven eighths left. And that's already simplified. Let's look here. Take away two-fifths of a pizza from four whole pizzas. Well, since I'm taking away two-fifths, I'm going to divide my pizzas into fifths. Now, to divide a pizza evenly into fifths, I kind of have to draw like a star, kind of like a sand dollar. So put your center, and then that's how you divide it into fifths, a circle into fifths. It's kind of like a sand dollar. 
Okay. All right. So then I want to take away, I have four holes, so I have all of this, all of this, this whole thing, this whole thing, and this whole thing. And I want to take away two fits. Where there's not another pizza where there's a fraction where I can take away two fits. So I'm going to take away from this hole. I'm going to take one fit, two fits away. And so if I give two fits away, what's left for me? I have one, two, three holes, and one, two, three fits. So I have three and three fits left over. And this is how we model borrowing, because you didn't have enough here, to, so you had to borrow from the hole. You didn't have enough here to take away three-fourths, so we had to borrow from a whole pizza. Same thing here. We didn't have enough here to take away five-eighths, so we had to borrow from the hole. So this is modeling borrowing fractions, where you had to borrow from the hole in order to give enough away. So here we had to borrow to give enough away. Now, if we were to do this without pictures, it would look something like this. So Ryan and Lewis had three and three-eighths of a pizza, but the mom wanted them to give away five-eighths, right? So you can see you can't take five-eighths from three-eighths. There's three-eighths. We couldn't take five-eighths from three-eighths. So guess what we had to do? We had to borrow from one of our whole pizzas. So this becomes two holes, and we had to break this into what? eight pieces so that we could take another two eighths away. So if we borrow from the whole, we are actually adding what? Eight more slices to the three that we had. One, two, three, and then eight more slices because we had to borrow from this whole pizza. So now we have 11 eighths. Now can we take five eighths from 11 eighths? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now can we take five eighths from 11 eighths? Yes. That would be Oops, sorry, not 3 eighths. 11 minus 5 is 6, so we would be left with 6 eighths and two whole pizzas, which is what we had here. We had two whole pizzas left, and since we took away 5 eighths from the 11 pieces we had here, we had 6 pieces left over. 2 and 6 eighths, which simplifies to 2 and 3 fourths. So this is how we model the borrowing. We borrowed a whole pizza, which is 8 more slices, and then we took the 5 eighths away.